Hi everyone. So it seems quite a few of you are frozen up at home. You've had no water for a couple of days or you're experiencing no water right at this minute because your pipes are frozen. What do we do about it? Well, when you're frozen up, one of the best things you've got to check before you do anything is that your main stopcock works and can turn. That's if that's not frozen up as well. But all that's important about it is because if you do have a burst pipe when it thaws out, which is when it will show, uh, that you can turn the main stopcock off in the first place okay to stop that water if you get a burst this is the worst case scenario i don't like to scare you but that's what can happen and you need to know you can get that water off okay so well, probably one of the best places to start with thawing out i always say is to open places where you know pipes are like under a sink unit you know you've got pipes coming in there they often freeze there and unfortunately that's where the main stopcock often is and sometimes you'll find you get an air vent from outside comes through and actually pumps a blast of cold air over the pipe i've had that before i just blocked up the air vent outside uh, and it's a few hours later it's allowed the water to come through when it's thawed but all these areas need looking at if you've got voids under your house and you've got pipes under there then there's a good chance the burst will be under there if you're going to get one if it is frozen and the olive has parted. I'll show you kind of what happens uh, when you get a freeze up with a compression fitting. Let me show you. Here then is a normal compression fitting and this is normally what they look like when they're done up tight and tight. The olive is there and it fits in up to there but what happens when it starts to freeze this olive starts to get pushed off the pipe off the end of it i'll show you what i mean this then is what you kind of get happening you can see the olive coming away from the pipe it's a as it freezes in there that pushes away the ice pushes on the fitting as it were so it kind of pushes on there and pushes that out so the pipe eventually that comes right off and you end up with just like the pipe looks okay and you'd see the pipe going like so and you'd think it was okay but it's actually frozen and when it obviously defreezes that will just pop out of there and poof. quite often as well you see big splits in copper tube i'll show you what they look like i've got a picture of those and if you've got plastic then of course you can get splits in that and you can get them pop out the fitting same sort of thing because they only use a rubber ring for the seal which can also be frozen and split so they can leak as well sort of give you such bad news but a freeze up is one of the worst things that can happen now you've been asked about or i've been asked about uh, what's the best way to defreeze it for for me if you can put your heating on put it on but not too strong just put it on a nice warm temperature let it defrost slowly slow warm heat through the house now another area that will be possibly frozen people forget about is up there so apart from voids under the house where there may be pipes the other main place to check is up in the loft space yeah because especially for f and e system people you've got two tanks up there you will have your little f and e tank a small one and most of you that got those systems will have a, a very big 40 gallon tank that supplies a hot water cylinder also some of those tanks supply the cold feed to the bathroom so the basin tap the bath tap and the toilet system will be fed from that tank now a sheer way of knowing if you've frozen up anything is to try turning the hot tap on and if you've got no water out of any of the hot taps you've got to freeze up up the stairs in the loft same with a cold tap to the bathroom if you've got no system working no basin tap working no bath tap working it's frozen up in the roof very dodgy place to have a burst because it's the worst place the water's got to come down hasn't it so thing to do lift your left hatch away put your heating on really low or if you've not got any radiators near that hatch if you can get a small heater of any sort and just stand it right under the hatch and leave the hatch back and make sure not to leave the house till that's thawed out to make sure there's no leaks you don't want it to thaw and you're not around if you have got a leak or a burst then you won't be there to sort anything out so 
that's the primary one to do make sure you're there so you can keep a check on it if you're really worried you can turn the cold main off which will stop the tank filling but it will still have to empty that tank if it's a leak on the other side of the tank you need to be there so you can react quickly get to it and get the pipe re-engaged or refixed or whatever you need to take emergency action if you've been really badly frozen i don't want to scare you <laughs> i know it sounds terrible but, but believe me i've seen some sites over my 50 years of plumbing experience that you wouldn't want to see okay so it's just this weather has reminded me and a few of you have told me you're frozen what are they going to do to get it thawed out and i'm just trying to make it as easy on you as i can just to be prepared now, I know I said about the main stock cop, maybe that could be frozen in your house as well, for all I know. So then make sure your outside stock cop works if you have one on the pavement. If it's got snow over it, clear it away and lift the lid and make sure it looks like it's going to turn all right in case you need to get the water off out of the air. Okay, so emergency situation, you need every availability to be able to get things off. Now, I have a video on changing the stock cop live if your stock cock does blow off at all uh, and it's quite tricky to do i'll give you the link for the video uh, but i've just showed it out on an outside pipe so it was very clear you could see exactly what happened but actually doing it in a cupboard or somewhere like that is a whole different ball game <laughs> Hopefully you're going to be all all right. So don't panic if you've got to freeze up. Just keep calm, get the heat on slowly, and follow those rules. Okay. Anywhere there's pipes in the house, open the cupboards, open the door, let let the warmth for the house get to the pipes, and gradually thaw them out slowly. You know, all this getting a blow lamp out on the pipes and things, you know, is not recommended. Okay. Want a nice easy slow thaw out. Luckily, I think the weather is due to change shortly, so we should be all okay anyway. So keep your fingers crossed for your guys. All right. <laughs> and that's about it, though. Just a few little tips and things on freeze-ups. Okay, that's it, though. All my stuff next time. Derek and Freddy Free, see you there.